Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another Hydrogenate video. So as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are at the beautiful location of Snow Rune Falls, but we are going to make it that extra bit beautiful with a nice glistening waterfall. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to dig down a little bit, get some drills set up. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So we're going to get our flight cap on just so I can sort of gauge where the middle is, but I don't want to go too much in the middle and to do a nice sort of scenic thing probably about here should be fine actually so we're just going to go across one side to the other and we're just going to see how it all looks so there we go we have our line dug out and if we just head on down here you will see that i've dug out the underground as well in preparation for our drills so i'm going to get some drill set up we're going to get some pipe work done and then we're going to sort out the conveyor belt system as well so i've decided to go for some core stone drills um obviously i have got mods installed but i find that through my testing the god tier drill which would have been perfect unfortunately doesn't really produce any shards so that's not really what i was going for unfortunately so we've gone for the core stone drills i know i could use the golden drill but i find that it is slower even though the resources are bigger with this challenge that i'm doing in building this waterfall i kind of want sort of more speed than i do the size of the resources so i think core stone drills should be a nice good fit for that and i think that should be plenty enough hopefully that's not going to be too many and completely destroy my game but my plan being i will be eventually getting rid of these and you'll see what i mean by that a bit later on in the video so there's the drill set up so i just need to get a load of pipe work all done okay so there's all my well not all of it but most of the basic pipe work done now i'm going to have to do it in a way where i'm using individual harvesters and you will see why a little bit later on but i'm just going to build this first one just to show you guys and then obviously I won't bore you with the rest of it because the rest of it's going to take a little while. So let's run through what I'm going to be doing. So we're just going to pop this here. And then what we're going to do is grab my wand if I can find it. There we go. And then we're going to need quite a few straight pipes. So we'll just get a whole load of these spawned in. That should do for now. And then what I'm going to do is quickly get all these built up. And then I will basically get this side set up, as I said, and I'll run through how it's all going to work. So we're just going to get these done. Okay, so that's them pipes all laid out as they should be. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our conveyor belt here. Just there, straight into the harvester from the drill. Hopefully that will work okay. Um, I'm sure we will find out sooner or later if it will. And then what we're going to do is have a straight conveyor belt just here. That's then going to go into a splitter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that. And we've got our deletion hook. So what I'm going to do now is get to all of these straight conveyor belts done. So as you can see where this is going, we're just going to do a whole load of um, straight conveyor belts from here. So I don't bore you actually, we'll just whack this one just down here. Um, so this will be full of conveyor belts. And then what we're going to do is put this teleporter right at the end, put that onto send and then probably about the next one. So that will go probably about there. So what we're going to do is have a shards on the splitter. So the shards will go down this end conveyor belt. Everything else will get deleted into the hook. And then I'm going to continue the conveyor belt down here with another teleporter in the end. And by the time I've finished building all this, we're going to have a whole row down there. So my goal is to make this an infinite loop. So eventually I will be getting rid of these drills. So everything that falls down to here will land on the conveyor belts, go straight back through the teleporters and repeat the process eventually i can get rid of all of these drills so i'm going to get back to getting all of this lot built up and set up as i want it and then i will show you guys how all this bit works 
and then we'll go ahead and get all that set up up there. So after seconds for you and probably about an, an hour's build time for me, it's finally done. Well, the bottom half is anyway, but still got to do the top half. But I think it's time for a little test just to make sure everything is working as it should. So we're just going to pop this pipe in here and hopefully everything will be working as it should, which looks like it is at the moment. Child production is going to be a bit slow to start with, but hopefully sooner or later it should be working perfectly fine. So let's just check that these all of these drills are working. It looks like they all are at the moment, although sometimes the dirt obviously doesn't want to travel up. I'm guessing that was just the first one. And not to worry, the rest of it's all doing as it should, so that's perfectly fine. And then all the shards are probably just ended up down here for now because they can't actually go anywhere but at least we know that is all working as it should so we'll stop that for now yes we'll just go all the way up to the top and we'll sort that out all the way up the top and hopefully my placement is right because i'm pretty sure conveyor belt has got to go there uh maybe one backwards might be a little bit better um yeah let's just go one backwards shall we just to be on the safe side we just need a conveyor belt we're just going to need one of them of them we definitely will need a cork because i don't want no water dripping down then finally we're going to need one of these so it's time to set this one uh we'll set this one as number 30 because it's right down the bottom there and we'll send that to receive and then what we're going to do is head back down, pop our pipe on, and double check it's working. And if everything's working as it should be, then I will get to um, building the rest of it and then show you the final product. So hopefully this one at any point now, I'm hoping, will um, do a shard. That's awkward because I need this first one to do a shard. In fact, we have a shard down here, so let's just, um, we'll just cheat a little bit, shall we? drop our shard there and hopefully that one disappears up to here and we should see it drop back down oh look at that perfecto okay so that's perfect that works it's just like a charm so let's stop this for the moment and um yeah i'll get to building this uh what i will do for you guys just to spice things up a bit i'm gonna chuck this little Part of the build into a small little time lapse for you guys. So there we have it. Um, I'm kind of having second thoughts about doing it so high. We will see how it performs. Um, I mean, at the moment, without anything running, my frames have dropped about 20 FPS. 
that's just because of the, the amount of conveyor belts we have going but what we're going to do is we're going to connect this pipe let it run for a little bit hopefully accumulate some shards and then we'll see how it all goes i'm gonna head up back to the top just so the frames aren't too bad when it all starts running properly and we're just gonna sit here for a little while I'll do a short little time lapse as the time goes on. Hopefully we'll have a few more shards that have been harvested. Okay, so we have some shards producing, but as you can see, they're not quite going down the hole. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, because if I float up directly from here, it should be about right. So what we're going to do to try and fix this situation is we're going to, going to get some tin sheet ramps. Hopefully that will fix the issue. Uh, or not that just kind of made it a little bit worse okay let's um align it a little bit better maybe hopefully this will work instead i mean we are quite high up so it's definitely going to be a little bit difficult to try and get these perfectly in the right place um but we'll see what happens let's just put a couple down hopefully it will catch them it doesn't look like it is which is mm, this is going to be a little bit of a problem for me to figure out okay so if we move this one slightly forward i don't think it's quite gonna work i think it's gonna go too far back let's follow this one and yeah that goes too far back hmm okay maybe if we get uh, a few funnels maybe the funnels will direct them down a little bit more okay so let's try a few funnels to see if that makes it a little bit better didn't really want to place it there or we'll place it there instead hopefully that will drop it directly down then um see what happens mm, no i mean it's it's kind of working but kind of not at the same time so maybe the infinite loop that i wanted to do possibly won't work okay so i've put funnels all the way along just to give it a fair chance and we're now going to see if this actually helps the process a little bit more because in theory that should be spot on as we can see the water's just dripping just past it there so in theory the funnel should go directly down I'm not exactly sure why but there don't seem to be you can see they're kind of dropping mm. yeah not quite dropping down maybe i need to make this hole a little bit bigger could potentially make the hole slightly bigger and then maybe put some ramps down so they funnel down to there maybe maybe that's the way to go because they all seem to be landing sort of here okay so after some troubleshooting and playing around i think i've got it all working as as good as i'm going to without it being too visible so if we head up on over here obviously we can see the hole a little bit but it's nothing too drastic um, I have had to make the hole a little bit bigger. I've put some funnels down here as well. And it seems to be working pretty well. As you can see, they're all falling onto conveyor belts. And going back through. There are a few that are getting stuck, but I'm not too worried about them. So I think I'm going to have a little bit of a sort out. Get some sort of slanted roofs here just to direct them down here a little bit more. And we'll leave it running for a little bit until we've got a bit more of a waterfall effect. And then I'll come back and um, show you guys. And there we go everyone. It is complete. After a few modifications we are up and running. So as you can see it's flowing quite nicely. Uh, we've got a few blockages but that's always to be expected. And if we follow it down to here. Yeah we've got a little bit of a mess. But things seem to be working pretty well. So it looks all good from down here. So let's have a look. I have turned it to night time so we can get a little bit of a view. But as you can see, I am and I expect all of you are. I'm kind of disappointed that I can't actually see the waterfall. Uh, maybe I did do it a bit too high or maybe it's just uh, the render distance and things like that. I think it's also the background as well. You can't really see much. But as we go a bit higher up, you can see that, you know, we have a kind of sort of a waterfall i'm kind of as i said disappointed i was expecting it to look a little bit cooler than this having the shards come down maybe um some bigger shards would kind of do the trick but the problem with the bigger shards um they do tend to clump up in the teleporters as you can see here there's a big one there and it seems to just um 
plug up the teleporters so don't think it's quite possible to do that but yeah hopefully everyone's liked the video and found it kind of fun and interesting like i did trying to um trying to make a waterfall if you like the video make sure you hit that like button if you've got any other suggestions on fun things that you'd like me to try out so you don't have to be sure to leave a comment down below it's been Kryptonite here thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video